What's going on YouTube? Bryce builds it all here and I have a little bit of a different video for you today. I'm going to talk about whether or not aviation maintenance is a career path for you. So if that interests you, stick around. While I'm talking about that, I'm going to go ahead and unbox a new tool at the same, same time that I got for the channel. Stick around. So obviously, I have done quite a lot of videos on getting your AMP, how to become an AMP, what an aircraft mechanic is, and what those kinds of things mean. So if you're new to my channel, and this is maybe your first video, that's primarily what I make videos about, but I do also make some videos working on my personal projects, as well as maintaining general aviation aircraft, and doing annual inspections and whatnot, because I am, of course, an IA, as I mentioned earlier. Um, so that being said, I wanna get right into the nitty gritty of if aviation maintenance is for you. And I'm probably gonna answer a couple of the pretty common questions I get when I make videos about being an aircraft mechanic. And the first question that I always get is, is there a lot of math? And the answer to that question is, yes, there is a lot of math. Now, that doesn't mean that the job you're doing is going to be nothing but math. It just means there is a lot of math in the career, especially if you're doing something like sheet metal or weight and balance. There's a lot of formulas and there's a lot of math that has to be done, so you need to be prepared for that. This is not an easy maintenance job where you just go into work every day and turn a wrench. You are going to have to do lots of math. You're gonna to have to do lots of um, reading. Reading of manuals is very important. If you're not reading a manual or following an instruction, the FAA can actually issue a finding for that. So, without any further ado, let's see the first couple pieces of what we got. Well. You probably know what all of this is, and you probably know what that is. So let me get it out of the way. Oh. You probably also know what this is right here. So anyways, if you're thinking about going into aircraft maintenance, I caution you and I, I warn you that it's not going to be an easy peasy career where you just go into work every day and just turn a wrench. There is a lot of information and knowledge that comes with being an aircraft mechanic. Ooh, we're almost there. I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way. I'm gonna set it down and I'm just gonna pull it straight up out of the box. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I finally grabbed myself a Big welder. I hope you can see this. There you go. I grabbed myself an Eastwood MIG welder. Now, for a second, I'm going to go ahead and pull you in and boom down. Now, the reason that I got this MIG welder is because if you follow the channel for a while, you may know that at the house, I have a 1967 Ford Mustang. And in typical Mustang fashion, it's full of holes. So I need to fix them. The biggest one being a hole in the firewall. So I'm really excited to get this out. I'm probably just gonna grab some flux core wire for it for now. Um, it does come with a regulator for, for an argon bottle, but I'm probably just gonna grab some flux core wire for it for now because if you have a power outlet and flux core, you can weld just about anywhere. And since I'm just doing light body work, I don't really, I'm not worried about having a perfectly clean, beautiful weld anyways but this is another tool this is the second tool i bought from eastwood the first tool i bought from eastwood was actually their eastwood hot coat powder coating system i unboxed that video i unboxed that as well and i powder coated a couple things with it but i'm really excited about this one i'm really excited to get it home and get a little bit of practice with a mig welder and since we're talking about it i mean i'm not a strong guy but i can lift it with one hand it's it's pretty light so i'm excited about that a lot a little Looked at a lot of reviews on it. I don't know if the deal is still going on right now, uh, but I got this for $3.99. They've got a, a, a social media promotion. It normally sells for like $570 or something like that, and they've got like a 25% off discount. So if you want one of these, make sure you go over and grab one of these while you get a chance. Read the reviews on them. Like I said, the reviews are pretty high. I'll get back to what I was talking about. So like I said, you're going to have to do a lot of math. You're gonna have to be reading a lot of instructions, and the job itself can be very difficult, and getting the certificate can be very difficult because there's a whole lot of information that you have to know to pass the test. And as much information as you have to know to pass the test, 
it's nowhere near what you're going to learn when you go out in the field. It's just enough information to get you to pass the test. And there is a lot of it. So it is really cramming a lot of studying. And before you become an aircraft mechanic, you have to ask yourself a question. Are you just doing this because you want to get a six-figure salary? Or are you doing this because you're passionate about aviation, because you're passionate about maintenance, or because you're already a mechanic? It's like for me personally, I was a car mechanic first. I love cars and motorcycles. They're my first love. They're my first uh, real exploration, if you will. And the reason that I'm an aircraft mechanic is because I'm good at being a mechanic and it affords me the means to build and do the kinds of cars that I want to have. So that's why I did it. And in a way, I, ha I am passionate about aviation. I do like airplanes. I just don't like them enough to own them. I love cars enough to have a bunch of those though. So kind of continuing down that path, there's a lot of information that goes into getting the license. There's a lot of um, expense that goes into getting the license to become an aircraft mechanic. And like I said, there's a lot of math and things that go behind being an aircraft mechanic. It's not just going into work every day and turning a wrench. Depending on where you work, uh, it can be very mundane. You can be in a situation where you're doing the same task every single day, day in and day out. Especially if you're somewhere like an overhaul facility and all you do is tear down jet engine compressors. which That might be what you want to do. There's nothing wrong with that. You could also just be rebuilding brake systems every single day, day in and day out. So you have to think about those things. You might be working outside or in a hangar that's not climate controlled. You may be working in a hangar that is climate controlled. It just depends on where you go. And these are all factors that you need to consider before you become an aircraft mechanic. And really what you need to ask yourself is if you're passionate about doing it. I get a lot of questions from people that say, I'm 38, I'm 40, I'm, I'm, I'm 35, I'm 30, I just got out of the military, is it too old for me to start? And my answer to that question is no. It doesn't matter if you're 35, 40 years old. One of the best mechanics that I've ever worked with, this guy named Darren, he's been in uh, one video before, and he didn't get his AMP until he was like 34, 35, and he's one of the best IAs that I've ever worked with. Obviously, he's a general aviation mechanic, but he's one of the best IAs I ever worked with, and he started very, very late in life. So there you go, everybody. I'm not gonna say a lot more on it. Um, if you're thinking about going into aviation maintenance and you're not sure if you wanna spend the money on getting an AMP, remember, there are a lot of jobs you can do in aviation without an air, airframe and power plant license or certificate, such as repair station work and MRO maintenance if you are approved or if you go through their training program. And they can, they can authorize you to work as a repairman you can do that for a little while. If you like working as a repairman, maybe then consider getting your AMP. If you're dead set on it and you know you it's what you wanna do, then I have one piece of advice to you that I give to all of my students. Go for it and give it 100% of your effort and do not hold back. Become the best aircraft mechanic that you can possibly become. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I cannot wait to get this welder home, uh, do some testing get a little bit of practice because I haven't welded in several years. If you like the video, make sure you leave me a like, make sure you leave me a comment. As always, subscribe, go join the Discord, follow me on Instagram, go build something, and be easy.